Facebook and LinkedIn phone in. How amazing is that? Welcome, 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 I say. Lovely to have you with us. And a big welcome to our TikTokers as well, who have just come and joined us. How good is that? Excellent stuff. Just getting everything set up here. And uh, there we go. Fantastic. That's lovely. Good. And that's our TikTokers have joined us. Off we go to the telephones already. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. It's Kareem. How are you doing? Oh, Kareem, how fantastic is that? Brilliant stuff. I can't believe here we are on Wednesday evening. How quick does the time pass? The week is just going by so quick, Scotty. Absolutely. already. Absolutely fleeing in, and you know, tomorrow, Thursday, and then our Friday and Saturday phone ins. But tremendous success, great following on Twitch. We're into about Excellent. 80 followers on Twitch, and we had two last week. Excellent. You know, Excellent. it's Excellent. just wonderful. And TikTok, yes. I popped up on TikTok at about 20 past six this morning and did what right. we call the early bird, the early bird chit chat, the old red eye. You know, and it was it was great, and huge numbers joining us on TikTok, just amazing. Yes. Excellent, well, that's fantastic, Scotty. Well done. So there we are. Anyway, that's you up to date with all the housekeeping. Yes, I will continue to grow, Scotty, as it always does. It will continue to grow. I think so. And when we get quality callers like yourself, last night they were all going, "Come on, we need Kareem. What's happened?" <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. Um, I was just uh, thinking about a few things for tonight's uh, uh -huh. call, and one thing that uh, I've been thinking about, Scotty, yes. is the, the question I'm going to put out to yourself and to everybody that's listening. Absolutely. We know we know that the universal credit is going to be cut, and that's about eighty pounds a month. For yes, twenty twenty quid a week. We know that in April tax is going up. I'm going to be thirty pounds a month. Yes. We know that the petrol shortages at the moment is going up and down. We know the price for petrol, Scotty, is at the highest it's ever been. Yes, that's very naughty, actually. It shouldn't be. Yep. Because we most of that's that, duty. We know, Scotty, that the, the shelves are empty when we go into the supermarkets and we can't get a lot of our products. Correct. Now, I can't help but think this is what we voted for but we love to moan but we voted for all this back in 2014 yes well not all of us voted for it but i know what you mean uh you know by and large the country put this let's get brexit done government into place excuse me yes uh -huh. And they did have a very, very, very strong alternative. He might not have been everybody's cup of tea, but Jeremy yeah. Corbyn was sitting there, not just in the wings, but ready to go centre stage. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, I still think Labour weren't as popular as, well, but Corbyn, I think he was good, but I still don't trust the Labour Party, and I think they've shown their true colours just now. Uh, and I won't go into detail about it, but I think already you're seeing uh, um, Keir getting, I've forgotten his name, Starmer. Keir Starmer. Getting absolutely slaughtered with his, his speech, and he's confirmed there is no intention that the Labour Party, under his power, will ever join the EU. That was confirmed earlier on. Well, speech. you see, that to me, I think, is a mistake. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, either not good policy or badly advised, we'll go with that. Um, I also think that if Labour want to come out of the wilderness in Scotland, they should back independence. I think so. I know there is a, a, a group called Labour for Independence. Yes. If, if they are really wanting, this is the time now they should be really pushing for the independence movement. So my point that I was trying to make earlier on, Scotty, and I, I've been shot down many a time, again, Scotland in 2014, when we voted to be part of Westminster, we knew that the, the state, that we've got a lot of powers that we do not have control in terms of taxation. Yes. In terms when it comes to trucks, mm -hmm. that now that'll be another show whether or not there is a consumption rooms, whether that's going to work to try and get people off. Now, I think it's in Portugal, and I'm, I'm sure you've read about this, Scotty. 
that they tested this, I think, about 10 years ago because they they had the highest drug problem in the whole of Europe and now it's now one of the lowest because they had the consumption rooms where the addicts would go and they would get help and they eventually came off the drugs. Now, I didn't think... Holland try parks and places that, that druggies could go and take their drugs? As far as I know, it was a safe place. It's it was away from the public. It was it was like an say like a, an office somewhere, but it's away and that obviously when they're on the legal high, they're not out in the cold. They're not causing harm to people. And I think for me as well, most importantly, children don't get to see that. I mean, yes, like and they're getting monitored time. as well. There could be people there sort of policing them yeah. for want of a better term. Uh, I know the SNP wanted to introduce this. However, that it, it gets a bit tricky when it comes to what powers they have and what powers they don't. And for that, they're not allowed. Westminster and Boris Johnson have made it very clear that's not going to happen. Well, and they want to example. keep a grip on the laws. But you see, as you know, Scots law is actually a separate law to English law, which was really based on common law, the old common law in the days yeah. when the House of Lords was the Supreme Court. Yeah. I think, Scotty, what will be interesting um, in the coming months, uh, and I've said to a few people, I think what's going to happen now, if SNP are serious, it will be the build-up to the council elections. That will be interesting. That will be in May. Uh, and that will be, I think you'll see ALBA, a lot more support for ALBA. There will be less for SNP, but I don't think the Labour are going to make any grounds or the Tories. So Not unless they back independence. Where Labour could have absolutely scored was if the leader at the time had just said to London, I'm sorry, but we're going alone. I'm going to back independence. That would have thrown the whole SNP thing into chaos in 2014 and probably have secured independence. Is it Henry McLeish? be our first minister. Well, uh, that, the leader at the time was Joanne Lamont. Uh, yes, but the, the ex-first minister of Scotland. Yes. Have, it was Donald Dewar, then it was... Oh, Jack McConnell. It was after John, it was, it was McLeish. Yes. He recently came out in support of independence. He says if it's going to be good for the, the economy, yes. he will back it. Well, that's, I mean, I'm purely an economist. That's where I'm coming from. I'm not coming from a political standpoint at all. Mm -hmm. Well, I mm -hmm. actually think, Scotty, if we do get the referendum and we win it, I think you're going to see a lot of talent from all over the world moving to Scotland. Yes. I think you're going to see a change in politics. Yes, and you might see the diaspora coming back. I really believe you're going to have a lot of headquarters being built. You're already getting at the centre of Glasgow with the big Barclays, etc. Yes. Things are going to change. Things are going to open up. But my point I wanted to make earlier on was that we are all complaining and moaning just now, but that's what... Well, I didn't vote, but that's what Scotland voted for, 55%. Now, what I still don't understand, Scotty, after everything that's happening, after people, if they get off the backsides and do a little research and can see that it's going to benefit the country, why is it still on a knife edge 50-50 around about? Very strange. Well, I'll tell you one reason I think they need to be careful about, and you know exactly what I'm going to say. There needs to be total clarity on the head of state, the monarchy, because that's going to become a distraction from the main event, and it shouldn't do. So we need full clarification, full clarity. Yes, yeah. Her Majesty the Queen is our head of state. That will not change. Our First Minister, she will also be appointing the First Minister who will swear allegiance to her. Not appointing the First Minister. Obviously, the people vote for the First Minister, but the First Minister still has to take the oath of allegiance to the head of state. Once that's comfortably put to one side, you can then yes. look at the politics, you can split the parliaments, but not the crown. And you and I have come in on this one before. Kareem, while you're on here, lots of incredible comments here on TikTok. Somebody says it's not working in America. Sad days for the Labour Party's one. 
Um, everybody says dink you do when Scotland becomes independent. The SNP will be scrapped and we'll have a proper Labour Party. That's another comment. Used to think the Scots and the English had very similar values, but after Brexit, not so sure. And this one, I think we, oh, sorry, there's more Tories in England. And on your comments, I think on the drug rooms, it's not working in New York. And the next comment says, I do not understand why people vote Tory. Thank you, Mr. Goatface, for your beautiful TikToks. So isn't that an interesting feedback from across the world? It's fantastic, Scotty. Really, really interesting. Excellent. You know, that Absolutely. just shows you just the potential of the phone-in. It's not working in New York. An instant comment. Yeah. Well, do you know what's interesting as well, Scotty, with that? That's, as you said, it's instant. And then if it was to do with the media, some media might put a bit of spin on it and then it goes out the next day. No spin then, here. Uh, this is purely coming from the, the people. Absolutely. <laughs> Isn't absolutely. that fabulous? Absolutely. Kareem, while you're on, yes, I know, I know it, uh, it sounds like I'm anxious to keep you. I'm needing to press on and so are you. But while you're on, David phoned me last night to say that uh -huh. the ferries that you saw were at Bray Head. The big shopping centre, and you would probably yes. have been able to see that from high up around the airport. Yes, yes. So they were at Brayhead. That's interesting. Apparently, they were at Brayhead, and the cruise ships were at Brayhead. So we'll see. We'll have more on that for you. Well, David, if you're listening, thank you for that. And Scotty, listen, thanks for my call. I'm sure you'll have. Some people making comments on that on the, the chat section. I, I am <laughs> quite sure we will, Kareem. Nothing surer. Lovely to hear you, and Dicky do. Thank you, do speak to you tomorrow. Bye. Absolutely, bye, bye. sir. God bless you. There we are. That's our Kareem. What a fantastic call. Good evening, Scotty, says Angela. Good evening, Angela. Uh, there we are. Hello, pal, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, do, Scotty. Wonderful to see you, says Dave. And you, Dave. Good evening, Mr. McClure and all friends on the talking, says Jerry. Hello, all, says Suzanne. Dinky do, and then she and Jerry are chit chatting. Good evening, Scotty. Nice bonnet, says Billy from America. Dinky do, Lord McClure, says Jordan. Danny says, Evening, we'd be a far richer country, says Jordan. Hello from me and Kirsty, says VJ. We'd be a far richer country without having to foot the bill with Westminster, correct? Uh, what will happen if the Scottish people marginally vote no again? Will she ask for a third referendum? Will it go on until she gets her results? Well, Dave, she might not be there after there. What was the first thing Alex Salmond did when uh, we didn't get the last referendum? He resigned. I actually don't think he should have done, but he did the right thing uh, as far as he was concerned and resigned. But, uh, you know, did the proper thing, if you like, but I think he should have toughed it out because he was an outstanding leader. So there we are. I do not understand why people vote Tory, says I am Montalbano. <laughs> Correct standpoint. Will I be better off? Correct. You're live and Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Okay, you turn that stupid hat off. Don't be ridiculous, you halfwit. That's part of Scotty McClure's accoutrement. You're live on, oh. Scotty. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. It's David. Ah, David, <laughs> did you hear that halfway there? Would you take that stupid hat off? You know, I mean, would you, would you speak to anybody else like that? Oh, I missed that. I can have that in my kitchen to listen to you. Okay, just, just bar him. Do you not mean bar him? Yeah, just bar him. He's gone anyway, so there he goes. Oh, now... Like a complete and utter idiot. Now, David, I just informed Kareem on your behalf there. I know, I heard it. Thank you very kindly. I tell, I'll tell Kareem myself, Kareem, listen, you can hear me, Kareem. You're welcome, son. Thank uh, you. You're so kind, David. Thank you. David, <laughs> give, give me your advice. Remember the other night you said you wanted to give me a gift. Now, I'm not after anything, but I was thinking... No, I don't. Wait till I tell you this. I splashed out on a new computer for the phone in and we know it's working. Do you think a hundred people would be willing to give me seven pound fifty towards that? 
No, don't you give I'm not I'm not I'm not asking for any I'm just saying as a principle. I you see it would that would be a terrific help towards the next thing. I'm building it up, you see, in the old days, if this was a television or radio station, it'd be hundreds of thousands of pounds. We yeah. can do it on a shoestring. Of course, of course. You know, but, but, that, you know. but I need to keep adding the next bit and the next bit, you know, because as you know, yeah, watching this is 100% free. See what you're doing, it's very clever. I wish I had your, your nice brain. You've got my brain. You've, you've got a brain even much bigger than mine. <laughs> I'll tell you. No, don't don't you do that. I'm not saying that. I'm just thinking. How do you think that would be received by people? Do you think there's a hundred kind souls out there that would say, "I'll give them seven pound fifty"? You know. I mean, Clean is talking about what, what I understand. Uh, I, okay, I'll get to this. A guy tonight on Sky News, you know what I'm talking about? Yes. Like, the Labour Party, and I, a woman stand up and starts screaming, Did you see it? No, I didn't see that. I mean, I'll not go into individual kind of reports on other I media, know. but I know I what know you mean. Person, this person was on a, a TV show. This is the person who stood up. She was fighting against it she, because the universal credit. She said, no, she said he was wrong, etc. And I know this woman because I watched it on TV right. years ago. <laughs> Absolutely. I think people get very, very heated. But you see, your problem with the Labour Party, I yeah. think their roots would have been in independence. That would have been their yeah. roots, you know, backing the people and, and that sort of thing. And I think they kind of lost their way. Mr. Blair took them quite far to the right so that uh -huh. they became electable. Because I think yeah. what he was saying is, look, you've got a choice. You can either stay as a lefty party and be ignored, or you can yeah. come to the centre and be electable. Uh, yeah. And that's what they did, and we had new Labour. But there were a lot yeah. of old Labour people, including people in his cabinet, who were saying, well, that's the end of the Labour Party, isn't it? That's us, that's us finished. That's us sold out so we could get elected. You see, and what you've got to say, and then when, when it was Mr. Corbyn, they were that busy fighting him. Ah, uh, yeah, of course. You know? I mean, but Scott, as I said, Scott, today when I stood up, she was raging, she was pointing, you she was screaming, I had the headlines on Channel 5 News and everything, and I, I, I do know her, I know her for a TV programme, Channel 4, a long time ago. Right. I, I, I used to watch it anyway. She was, she was making a good fact. She was sticking up for people on universal credit, etc. Yes. And other, other things. And again, all her supporters, the Labour, the Labour Party people, were clapping for him. She was talking in the middle of all these people, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. No, it's, it's very, very interesting. And as I say, at a conference, people have got a real conscience about politics. But what we need to get away from is saying, I will vote that way because that's the way Granny voted. I kind of spilled the beans because I wasn't sure how you could tell them or if you'd be coming on, you know. Yeah, of course. These boats, there's about 10 big cruise ships down there. They're beautiful. Down at Brayhead. Oh, there's something special. They really are. You want to see the way they manoeuvre them. Do you know they can bring them into about four or six feet? That's amazing. But Scotty, see, bedtime, there must be security guards watching these cruise ships. Well, I, well, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. No, you can't get near them unless you're actually involved in the cruise. Oh, I can imagine, but, but see all the people, all the captains, did you see on your boats with a docking at Brayhead? Oh, aye. Oh, aye. And then you'll, go, you'll also have pilots that know the River Clyde. When I was a wee boy, there were the Clyde pilots permanently based at Gurukh. And, uh, and they had their own boats. 
and they used to go away out. Now, a pilot is a wonderful thing. A pilot is a very senior uh, marine officer, either a captain or a chief right. officer, which is the number two on a boat, right? And what these guys did, I mean, some of these guys were in their 50s and 60s. Some of them had retired from sea. And the pilot boat goes along the big boat at the yeah. same speed, right? And wow. then at the right moment, the pilot wow. jumps onto a rope ladder and goes up the side of the big boat. Right, that's, that's amazing, isn't it? Now that's because, I mean, you know, they can go out in a very rough sea when it's gone up maybe six, seven, eight feet. At a time and then back down again. Yeah, I was I was on a boat years ago in Spain, but it wasn't a big cruise ship. Aye. I was on a boat in Spain. I, I was actually seasick anyway. Oh, I know what you mean. It's a terrible thing, actually, because, and I'll tell you, I hope nobody's having a late plate of wheat bangs, but I'll tell oh, you about seasickness. <laughs> seasickness is, is really, say you just had a oh, burger and then you went to a rough sea. Your body is saying, I will put you back into balance, but I am not going to work on this burger at the same time. So you choose. Either the burger goes or you your balance goes. So you think, I'll keep my balance so the burger goes. Oh, it's mad. That's what these macaroni's going to do. I feel sick. <laughs> Well, man, so there you are, fantastic stuff. Well, David, that's you up to date with that, and uh, right, just so quality. Yeah. And before we go, I'm sick of seeing the headlines of people uh, punching each other at the petrol stations. Yes, that's pathetic. And it's terrible. They're fighting over this. I know it's a big thing, but they're actually attacking each other. Oh, David, if you take your motor in, right, I don't know about you, but I quite often pop into the filling station for 20 oh. quid's worth. So, what you mean, yeah. so I'm not going to go filling my tank right up if I can get it for 20 quid. Just put your 20 quid in and go and let the person behind get on. Hi. And that's it. And that does us, you know what I mean? Madness, you know I mean? It's people not thinking that other people are just human beings like them. Next time I go to the fuel station, I might make a point of letting the car behind me go first. Yeah, that's a good thing, Scott, to get that as well, son, you know. That's what I'm thinking, you know. Just pop behind and say, excuse me, I'll pull forward. Do you want to go first? And then we should maybe all start this, you know? Yes. No, no, others first, others first. I was brought up, I remember we used to go to the Sunday school and we were taught that joy meant Je Jesus first, others second, and yourself last. Yes, of course. I mean, that guy that paid the other day called a knife by it, he's in the paper. Oh! He called a knife to it. And I wouldn't have been like, For goodness sake. The guy had a knife, Scotty. No, no, that's it. That's absolutely shocking, David. Right, I'm going to have to press on. They're all queuing up here. But remember, I love you to bits, and there's no other thing you can do about it. And tell John I'm asking for him. Thank you, do love you lots. That's our Davy. Now, gosh, we're mobbed tonight, folks. This is crazy, crazy stuff. Thank you, do. Evening, Mr. McClure and all the friends. Uh, what have we got here? Hello, everyone. Thank you, do, says Kareem. Greeting, sir, says Neil O'Gormley. David is the new Mad John, says Ebri. Go on, David. Good chat, says Jerry. There we are. Danny, thank you, do. Scotty, white dog shecht. Yes, you don't see it nowadays. That's a fair point. If you've just joined us on TikTok, thank you, do. Follow us as soon as you come on. What's this Scottish indie? Says Big Lad Jim. Big Lad Jim, independence for Scotland. Live on TikTok there. Who's the politician guy behind you? And that 1940s guy with the glasses. Did anybody hear the old duffer come on early and go, will you take that stupid hat off? There we are. Thank you very much. Mr. Goatface has sent me four beautiful cookies. Thank you, do, Scotty. How do you feel about the sovereignty of Parliament being affected by independence? Well, it wouldn't be. 
The phone! You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Scotty, it's Jordan from Edinburgh. How are you? Jordan from Edinburgh. What a joy and a privilege to hear you and think you do. Are you enjoying yeah. the phone in? Brilliant stuff as always, Scotty. Brilliant stuff. Now then, what's happening in the real world, Jordan? Well, Scotty, I was phoning you about something that I was looking at in the media. Yes. About celebrities. Yes. I don't know if I can name this person. Well, let's not name people because then we can. Uh, it gives us more uh, flexibility. <laughs> okay. Well, this this lady uh, is a well-known celebrity, celebrity in brackets, uh, who has been drink driving repeatedly, 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 time and time again. Yes, I know who you mean. You know who I'm talking about. Yes. If that had been you and I, we'd be in jail. Yes. This, this woman plays a mental health card and seems to be getting off scot-free. Yet again. How does that work? Mental health has nothing to do with this. If you do it time and time again over a, a long period of time, how, why should you get off with that? Well, no, it's just, well, because it's, obvious, it's very, very dangerous. Nobody should be getting off with things and will not comment too much on the particular one because we don't no, know no. the ins and outs. But as a general rule, okay. nobody is above the law. Exactly. I think this this lady or this person is is basically what her, her, she, she has her own mental health problems, which is fair enough. That's absolutely fine. Nobody's disputing that. But you, you can't play Russian roulette with everybody else's life by getting behind the wheel of your car. Hundred percent correct. Fair enough. I'm not going to go on any more on that one. But yes, okay. I I do take <laughs> your point, Jordan. Well done. Well done. Well well handled. The show. Always lovely speaking to you, and think you do a good point, well made. And I'll be putting in, the, I'll be putting in my uh, my money for the, the, the new equipment. No, don't you worry. Just I was just asking David if he thought oh, people no, would be no, all right no, for that. Uh, uh, well, we're all up for it. We're all up for it. Go you on. know, it's it would be very kind. A hundred, a hundred angels, if you like, getting behind old McClure. <laughs> 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 lovely all talking right. to you. Thanks, Jordan. And Thank you do, Lyle, all the best. Thank you do. Thank you do. What a top man. There we are. Fantastic. No word of a lie. My brother gave Tony Blair a cream egg. VJ, I believe you. The River Clyde song. Oh, beautiful, Suzanne. Anyone else lagging? No, no. Scotty, hello from the Numpty Heed. Hello, Professor Numpty Heed. No matter who gets into power, the higher powers will control them. They are just puppets, says Dave. Labour conservative libs raving monster loony. It's monster raving loony, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Results will be exactly the same. Hi, Scotty and everyone. Hello, Scotty and everyone. Sorry, proper grammar. Gordon Robertson, dink you do. I couldn't get any fuel for my Robin Reliant. Well, Jerry, I hope she's all right. Dave, you're sounding like David Ike, says Gordon Robertson. I've interviewed David Ike. Very interesting, man. Hi, Scotty. It's John Boy, David's partner, watching your dear face pus on Twitch. I'll give you dear face pus. Okay, thanks, Gordon. Nice. Got it exactly. Dinky do. We're off to the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hey, that's human at Away you go, you dafty. There we are. I pay more for fuel. My lighter fuel is £1.49 for 100 millilitres. There we are. Thank you. Do. You're a top class broadcaster. I love your shows, says John Boy. I love you too, John Boy, and there's not a thing you can do about it. I don't think Jordan is from Edinburgh. He didn't say Ken or A once. No, not once, Gordon. Eens. He didn't say or Yens. Fantastic. You dafty will love it. Who was the most interesting person you interviewed and why? So many interesting people. One of the best uh, was actually, um, oh my goodness, David Heyman, the actor, very interesting, and Bill McMurdo, the football agent. They were fascinating because uh, for different reasons, um, David is obviously an outstanding actor and very, very experienced in theatre, in movies, films, everything, Hollywood, 
the Citizens Theatre in Glasgow, you know, all these incredible things that he did, um, playing Jimmy Boyle in A Sense of Freedom, remember that? Uh, you know, I mean, just a wonderful actor. So he was interesting. So if you go on YouTube, Scotty McClue talks to David Heyman. Uh, Bill McMurdo was around. He was George Best's agent. He was also my agent. And he was George Best's agent at the time of the Beatles and all these fascinating things and was able to just tell it like it was, you know. So he was another great one to interview. But I've interviewed so many interesting people. What we might do if the phone-in, not if, sorry, when the phone-in takes off and it's already starting to do so, I think what we'll do is get some guests on here uh, just chit-chatting and you can phone the guests and have a chat with them. What do you think of road closures that have been announced for the COP? Uh, it's not COP fiasco. It's a huge, it's a huge um, thing for Glasgow Ebb. But uh, I knew there would be problems. So there you go, because our usual roots. You're a true gentleman. Thank you, Ross. Who's talking, says Tim. Scotty McClure, Tim. Never a dull moment. Scotty, the crows are nesting. It's going to be a cold winter. Jack, I know exactly what you mean. Welcome to our beautiful TikTokers. Scotty, what's your views on after death? Well, I haven't. I was going to say I haven't experienced it yet. But what I may well have, I've gone into huge old country houses and known my way about. Have I been here before? So maybe I'm having an after death experience now. Now, what about that one? What subject did you talk about with Ike Scotty? Is it available to listen to? Uh, no, in those days, I don't think we recorded the shows. Well, we didn't keep them. We recorded them for legal purposes uh, in case the, um, the authority wanted to hear them. But then I think we just dumped the recordings and I talked everything with David Ike. He was fantastic. Very, very interesting to listen to. Whether you agree with them or not is another thing entirely. God help us getting anyone in the city in the next two months. I know, Ed, but I mean, it's going to be so good. All eyes will be on Glasgow. Speaking as an Englishman, I hope you Scottish get the independence you want. Well, at the moment, we haven't said we want it. We need to... And then we will find out. Can everybody watching here... If you want to join in the phone-in and you're live on TikTok, look at the bio right in front of your face and you will see the URL for the YouTube channel. Tap that, subscribe and tap the bell for notifications and join in the phone-in. We're live on YouTube. We're live on Twitch. We're live on LinkedIn Live. And we are live on Facebook Live right now. So come and join us. Is there enough viewers on Twitch? Should I sign up and tell 10 to tell 10? VJ, get on to Twitch because I need people to watch it live. And it's a superb feed. And follow me on Twitch. We had two followers last week. We've got 80 now. 30,000 people to ascend on Glasgow. Excellent, Suzanne. Very good for business, I say. <clears throat> Hello from Alberta in Canada. We love you in Alberta and Canada, dinky do I say. Scotty, opinions on the Spitfire fighter plane? Mr. Mitchells, right? R.G. Mitchells, um, wonderful invention. Fantastic aircraft, although we must never underestimate the hurricane, the Hawker hurricane. And Tom Sopwith of Sopwith Aircraft yeah, one of the earliest aviation specialists, one of our early flyers. I'm not sure if his license was the first one. It was very early on. But Thomas Octave Murdoch Sopwith, the Sopwith Camel and the Sopwith Pop, Sopwith uh, Aircraft Works in the First World War. And then he went on. He was still the chairman of Hawkers when the jump jet came in. So there's a man that knew his stuff. Twice, at least, he saved this country because he went to, I think it was Dornier's in the 30s in Germany and saw them building aircraft and he thought, there's going to be trouble here. And he came back and he ordered hurricanes from his own factory. 
And the guy said, who are they for, Sir Thomas? He said, for me. And then, of course, the usual government shambles. The air ministry came to him and said, we need fighter aircraft, he said. Right, well, I happen to have some. So there you are. Scotty, have you heard of the stone tape theory images recorded into time over many years? No, Dave, I have not. Glasgow needs a big clean-up before COP26. Worse council. Yes, so there we are. Right, Big Daddy, we won't be pointing fingers in any personal ways. <laughs> Do come and join us, folks, as soon as you possibly can. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, hashtag Floati. This is the internet phone-in. It is massive. It is worldwide, but it's only four weeks old. Lovely to have you with us. Have you met William Wallace? Uh, no, but I know all about him. Dinky do, Scotty. It's been about 30 odd years since I last heard you talk, man. Glasgow Crack, lovely to have you with us on the TikTok and Dinky do. Dinky do, everybody. Thank you for following. Follow me on TikTok. Subscribe to me on YouTube, right? Follow me on Twitch, Scotty underscore McClue. Get yourselves on there. Dinky do all the way from Venice. They've just stopped all cruise ships here last month. Vandal, I'm trying to think why they stopped the cruise ships in Venice. Was it because it was causing tidal waves uh, or something like that? I don't know. Or was it just too much for Venice? Hello from Tobermory, says David Walker. We love you in Tobermory. And we say hi to you. Are you close to the back bray or the middle bray or the prison bray? Are you near to the Western Isles? Are you down by the pier? Or are you over by the old house? There we are, fantastic. Cost me $51 to fill up, but no lines. Leslie Davis, $51 is nothing over here. Hello, my beautiful friend. Hello, Susie Babe. I love to have you with us. Scotty McClue, Dinky Doo from Boston. Boston in Massachusetts are in the house. So there we go, Dinky Doo. Now, who have we got here? Katie Big Books, thank you very much. Hello from England, says Chris Clark. We love you in England, Chris Clark. Hello from Tubbermory in the Isle of Mull. So there we are. English boy Bangkok. He says, are you in continent? So what we'll do, we'll dump you, English boy, because you're 100% useless to the internet. So what I'll do is I'll just say... Doing the swanee with English boy. There he goes. Bye, la. Uh, fantastic. He's gone. Uh, guys, remember, you never, ever, 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 ever troll Scotty McClure. Otherwise, you go straight down the swanee. There we go. Now, who have we got? Dinky do. Right, David, we've got your message about Tom and Maury. Some people are pinching petrol. Hello from the U.S., says Eric. Scotty, I sent you a donation, Rangers. That is so very, very kind of you. Appreciated. Celtic or Rangers, says DJ. DJ, go and see them both play and then just make up your mind. They're quite interchangeable. Lots of Celtic people become Rangers people and lots of Rangers people become Celtic people. We just, we're in free flow here. The first time Shepherd Dinky Doo. Hey, Scotty, Dinky Doo. Thank you, Chris. Lovely to have you with us. Wonderful. I'm desperate to see the other photo behind you. Which one is that? Do you want me to show you it? There you go. I'll move out the road that way. There you go. Do you like that? That's, I'll give you a wee thing. These were presents to Scotty McClue, dinky do, from wonderful well wishers. How much is it for a gallon of gas in the United Kingdom? What are we, a litre, guys? Are we something like 160 a litre at the moment? Uh, if you can tell me, there's about four, is it four litres, 4.25 litres in a gallon? Are you still the US gallon? There we are. You don't read out all the messages. I do, Rangers, absolutely. There we go. Motorbikes rock, and don't be cheeky, by the way. Just watch your mouth on here, or you'll be doing the swanny. Doing with the English boy, I say. Thanks, pal. Great. No problem, Chris. Who have we got here? It's 750. There we are. What's 750? Seven pounds fifty a gallon. Wow. Ten dollars US equivalent. Got you, Chris. Right. 
Incredible. Okay, here we go. Now, what have we got here? Stone tape theory is apparently a real occurrence. Images from hundreds of years ago showing they're formed now for split seconds. Wow, Dave. Energy stored into rocks and stones. Well, look at Stonehenge. I really, really worry when the clocks go back or forward that all the druids have to come and move all the stones round. Oh, dearie me, if it's a clock. Doon the swanee. There we are. Very interesting, Dave. You're quite a man, you know. When you behave yourself. Yes, Gordon, good. Hello from New York City, says Ian. Highlander living over here. Remember you from your radio days, Ian. Lovely to have you with us and a big dink you do to New York City. We love it. I've just tried calling in, Scotty. It didn't work. 136 a litre. Right, let me check the phones, guys, because I want you calling in. Try them now, I say. Try the phones. Very, very important. If you've been ringing and ringing and ringing, let's try them now, see if we can get them working. USA is still gallons of gasoline. Is that what you, is it a US imperial gallon? Am I correct? Average price one thirty four a litre, so that would be four pounds one twenty sixteen, and uh, that would be. Hang on a wee minute now, and uh, uh, what would a quarter of that be? Let me try and work that out. So thirty pence, thirty one pence onto that. Let me see if I can do it this way, guys. So that should be 7, 7 and 4, 11, 4, 5, 6, 7. That would be, what did we say? Yeah. Is that, well, that would work out at 171. So wait a minute. Let's see if I can sort this out. Uh, £5.20. Uh, five pounds sixty, five eighty four, five eighty four, uh, six, six fifteen. Who said? Who gave me a price for a gallon? There, we seem to be. Am I at six fifteen a gallon? Is that way way out? Let's see what we've got here, guys. Somebody gave me a gallon. Could it be six quid a gallon? Is that possible? Six pound fifteen a gallon. First time shepherd, are you from the joke shop, says Gordon? No, just want to answer the phone again, Scotty. Right, let's see if we can sort the phones for you guys. You need your phones. We all need the phones. They shouldn't be a problem. I need to maybe see what the problem is with these phones. Because there shouldn't be a problem with phones. I think I've had so many calls, I've got nine waiting here. Right. Dearie, dearie, dearie me. Okay. Try that now, guys, if you've been phoning in, and let's see if we can get you through it now. Hi, Scotty. See you at last on my day off. Ah, dinky doo Lovely to have you with us on the day off, I say. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue with the internet phone in. Absolutely global and international. People watching from all over the world. We're only four weeks old and it's a 100% success. Six pound it cost me for a gallon. Well, that's right then. I've got six pound 15. That's me doing my mental arithmetic. Fantastic. Uh, uh, Jerry's asking about a shop. Yes, it's still there. Gordon, you'll know about that. You must be a, a practical joker, I say. Less of your English bias, ya Brit. Now, up the glorious, remember, there's no such thing as a Brit. That's a wee figment of your imagination, all right? And we're never biased towards anybody. Yeah, so you've got a wee gripe on your shoulder there for no reason. You were banging on about the black and tans. That's over a hundred years ago. Get a life and live in the real world. Enjoy being Irish and celebrate your heritage. And stop cheeking up to people who are trying to help you. True, Scotty, just ban them. 
Uh, hi, Scotty. Were you a consultant before your radio days? No, t -Mock. I'm a media consultant now. And if anybody starts a television or radio station, their first port of call should be to me, to Scotty McClure. Yes. Your phone lines aren't working, says David. Oh, no. We don't want this. We cannot have this. We need to get the phone lines working, David. What is going on with the phones? I see. Right, hang on a second. The phone should be working. I don't understand that. So there we are. There shouldn't be a reason. Using the gas calculator, Scotty. Using the old brain. Working it out on the brain there. Still want to answer the phone, Scotty. Do the phone calls. We're trying to do the phone calls. Apparently, they're not working. And that's very strange. Yes. Right, that's that. Fantastic. Okay. So that should be working now, guys. I cannot see the problem. There's a wee thing going round and round here. I'm just wondering what that means. Yes, we're active. That's absolutely fine. So there shouldn't be a problem there. Mm -hmm. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to check all the things for the phone, see if we can get some more calls, because the phones need to be working. I see. I definitely see. Yes, there we are. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Good. Right, everybody try the phones, see if we can get them working, guys. Very, very important. It's telling me it's updating the conversation, whatever that means. They were very, very strange. Scotty, do you have knowledge of supercontinent billion or so years ago, apparently Earth's growing in size, which would explain the continental drift? Have you ever heard of the Azores lift? There we are. We just got our stock car in a bang and I raced them. I didn't hurt myself. Right, Scotty, you need to fix your technology. It's letting you down. Chris, I think we know that. Thank you. But it's very difficult when I'm actually live to do anything about it. I'm desperate to hear the calls. So am I, Chris. So you and I are singing from the same hymn sheet. There we are. That's what it's all about, I see. Now, let me see if I can do some more stuff with this. This is not good enough. Mm-hmm. Mm Now, I'm just having a good look. Now, let me see what happens here, guys. We might try something. Um, can somebody try the phones now? See if there's anything working on that. If not, we'll uninstall and reinstall. When the Earth was being formed, it was 40% smaller. It's growing. Well, there we go. You see, this might be an excellent counter to all the Save the Planet stuff. The planet is growing. All right, mates. Uh, it looks like you're smart. Do you know much about Bonnie Prince Charles? I could tell you anything about Bonnie Prince Charles. Scotty, are you in arrears with your phone bill? Gordon, please do not be cheeky. You know I would not be in arrears with the phone bill. Yes, the called and says unavailable says Harry Dude. Right, let's see. I wonder if I should risk uninstalling and uh, and trying it again. What do you think, guys? Is that too big an operation to do live on air? To uninstall what we got here, Mark Rat. Wonderful. Settings. There we go. Something's happened there, has it? It says that a call has been missed. Right, so that's that. So we know a call's been missed. I wonder if I could, if that would be too much. Who knows about all these things? Should we uninstall? Oh, here we go. We're in business. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello. 
Hello? Right, we got a hello there, so we know they're working. Guys, get on the phones if you've been trying all night. Let's see if we can get you on. That would be just fantastic. That guy was obviously some sort of dolt. <laughs> and helped many, many people out of their predicaments. Yes, indeed. Here we go. What's happening here? Right, let's see what's happening here, guys. The phones are going daft now. We just need to answer them. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? There we are. Fantastic. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Glasgow, your phone's working. Thomas, the phones are working. Thank you very much. A dinky-doo. Dinky-doo, mate. Top man. That's wonderful. To the telephones, guys, as soon as possible. We obviously will have little teething problems. There we are. We keep getting error messages, says Susanne. Well, the moon is, in fact, moving away from our beautiful planet at the same rate as our fingernails are growing. Dave, you're some man. I love Harry here. How can a phone number not work? L-M-A-O. Harry, I agree with you. How can a phone number not work? I've paid plenty for it, for goodness sake. Scotty, I said I'd just check your working, matey. Dinky you do. Thank you, Harry. Now, uh, who's been ringing and ringing and ringing and redialing and redialing all night and cannot get through? Come and join us, I say. Wonderful. Uh, we've only got about nine minutes. I can't believe this. The time flies. I hope you're enjoying it. Now, there we go. Dinky-doo to you, Scotty, says Willie. Uh, do you know why Bonnie, Prince Charlie and the Jacobites wanted to take the throne? Yes, of course I do. They want to keep it in Stuart hands. So there we are. Uh, oops, here we go. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's David again, Scotty. Oh, David. I was going to put a lot because it wasn't working, Scotty, you know. I know. It's, it's, it's very temperamental. I think it's because these things are so finely tuned. I know. And you're trying a hard job on our side. And I'm yeah. sitting here and everybody's shouting, now, get your phones fixed, get your phones fixed. And you think, <laughs> I'm sitting here on the telly. Could you imagine if we phoned the newsreader in the telly and says, could you adjust your contrast a wee bit? <laughs> I know, like the old, old TV days. Aye, David, do you mind the vertical hold? What? Vertical hold. You had to get it to sit, otherwise the picture shot upwards. Right, right, I see straight. You're too young for all that. <laughs> Oh, the technology is so brilliant, but I am a wee bit disappointed with the way the phones are getting sticky. But I think what's happening, David, I look at it right, I'm looking at it right now, right? And uh, nine people are trying to get through at the one time. I, now, I don't think this system maybe is built to cope with that, you know? But we'll see. We'll press on until we get it 100% successful. Once the whole world's watching, we can then upgrade it, you know. David, good night and God bless you, Dinky Doo. And tell that John, tell that John he's got some cheek on him. Love you, son. Love you, my boy, Dinky Doo. Bye. There we go. Professor Numpty, he'd like that vertical and horizontal hold. That was it, Ed. Do you remember all that stuff? The telly used to go daft. We had an aerial. You only got one channel, and it was BBC television, but that was only the one channel. We didn't even get ITV, and my dad was standing up at the windy with a big plastic rod called an aerial at the time. It was supposed to be an aerial, and we were shouting, yep. Yeah, no, no, it's away again. 
No, try it again. See, back to what you did. The no, no, that's... Oh, there it is. That's brilliant. Leave it at that. And my dad was standing up in a chair holding it. Crazy stuff. Does anybody remember also two wee chrome rods on the top of the telly with a wee plastic dot on the top of them and that was your plug-in aerial? Vertical. You lot are mad, says Susan. Now, Susan, the whole world's queer except thee and me. Come on now. You can't say we're all mad and you're no. Did you do a great show tonight, Scotty McLean? Well done again, Kareem. It's been an absolute joy. We just obviously need to ensure the phones are working. I think that's important. Scotty, Caroline asked, where in Scotland is your accent from? Glasgow Crack, I don't really have an accent. This is just the way I speak. It's pure Glasgow. Pure heavy Glasgow bro. Thanks for yet another fabulous show, Scotty. Particularly enjoyed tonight's subjects, Nikki. Never a dull moment on here. We're going to say goodbye to our beautiful TikTokers right now. Thank you so much for joining us. You are fabulous. Scotty McClue says dinky-doo to every one of you. Ta-da, our gorgeous TikTokers. Thank you for a wonderful show. Right, there you are. And that's that.